Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If anyone of you are watching my videos for the first time, let me introduce myself. I'm Shanmuk, currently pursuing my Masters in Mechanical Engineering at Clemson University. And right now for the summer, I'm a full-time intern at Toshiba Global Commerce Solutions at Durham, North Carolina. So that's about me and in this video, I'm going to give you 15 tips. I'll not call them tips, but these are some points that you should keep in your mind before you travel to US as an incoming master's student. So before, I, I highly suggest you to watch my previous video where I've listed down 10 things that you should do before you come, before you come to US because those are something like prerequisites for these points. So if you have time, please do watch that or else I'll just try to cover in this. So don't worry about it. Coming to the first step, I've already mentioned this in my previous videos, but I, I want to mention it again, scan all your documents. Reason being, even if you lost your documents, even if you lost your bag somewhere in the middle of your itinerary, you always have your soft copies to show it and file a complaint. I mean, it never hurts to have a backup and a backup and a backup. So I would say, save it in your hard drive, save it in your pen drive, save it in your computer, and then save it in your Google Drive in two of the Gmail accounts. It, it never ha hurts to have multiple backups. So, and you have to be careful when, when the topic is related to documents, which decide whether you can stay in US or not. So digitalize your documents. And my second tip is don't put all your documents in one suitcase or in one bag. I mean, as I've mentioned in my packing list video, you have to have one original set of copies and then three or four Xerox copies of every document. So I would say keep original set in one bag, two of them, two of the Xerox sets in one bag and two of the other Xerox sets in one bag. The reason being, even if one of your baggage is delayed or even if one of your baggage is lost in between your itinerary, you have other baggage where you can just remove the documents and you can show it. So I would always suggest, I did that personally. I had five copies and one original set. So I kept the original set in one check-in baggage, two Xerox copies in one check-in baggage, two Xerox copies in my carry-on. But yeah, my original I-20 and passport were with me in my uh, carry-on bag. So yeah, that's how I managed and fortunately it all went well. And my third tip is don't wear fancy clothes wear the clothes in which you are most comfortable at i mean when i was traveling back in uh, 2021 july 29th or july 30th i wore i i wore a full hands t-shirt and i wore a uh, jogger i'm very comfortable at joggers you must have seen me in many videos wearing it i mean i, I actually wanted to wear a short but my dad was like dude you're filming yourself <laughs> please wear something decent okay all right but yeah now if i'm gonna if i'm going back to india or if i'm traveling internationally or if i'm traveling anywhere i would either prefer a jogger or a short don't don't wear something fancy it's not gonna help you you should wear something in which you can sleep comfortably point number four uh in us in some or the other way make your luggage identifiable for you so one way of doing it is by tying a ribbon to your bag so that it's easy for you to identify your luggage when you're uh, picking up the luggage in us because the luggage which you use the bags which you buy the same bags are sold to other customers as well and they might travel as well so you don't want to get confused between baggage and open it in the airport it's it's a, it's, it's all messy it's better to have something by which you can identify whether it's your bag or not so i had three of them three different types one i tied ribbon to every of my bag two Below the handlebar, I had one small paper taped to it saying my name, I mean Shannu, even if it's my name is Shanmuk, I just wrote Shannu so that it's identifiable. And then on my bag, I put a big paper saying my full name and then the my Clemson University address and my Indian address, just in case if the luggage is lost, airport people know whom to call and where to courier it. So it's always suggestible to have that. Point number five, do not fill your bag to the maximum capacity. I know tickets and airlines say that you are allowed to bring till 23 kilos, but don't fill it to like 23 or 22.5. Reason being weight calibration is different on different machines. For instance, the weight in, on which I, the, the weighing gauge on which I measured was an analog one and it has more percentage of error. And even if you bring the digital one, which is more accurate, it has some weight calibration issues. It is never hundred percent accurate. So always be one or 1.5 kgs off. So I, I carried three bags on which two bags were like 21 kilos each. And then third bag was like 20 kilos. Although they, Air India was allowing me to carry 23 kilos for every bag, every check-in bag. I only carried like 20, 21 at max. Don't push more than that. 
the reason being even if you cross 23 and if your luggage goes to 23.5 or more you'll be charged a lot of money and it's not worth it believe me you can if you have a lot of luggage prioritize stuff and just bring the most important ones you can buy everything in us and point number six the moment you step in the airport start living in us time so i i actually forgot to do this uh, when i was in hyderabad i did not set my clock to us standard time so uh, when i when I got down at Delhi, I remembered this and when I got down, got into my flight in Delhi, which was from Delhi to New York, it was a 16, 17 hour flight. I put my time to New York time because it's Eastern, Eastern Standard Time and Clemson and New York has the same time. So I put that time and I started living in it. Everyone around me was sleeping and I was watching Ye Jawani Hadiwani movie. That's one of my favorite movies by the way. <laughs> I'll say this will not completely avoid your jet lag, but starting early in when you're in India, itself make gives you a head start so that you can avoid jet lag in like first two three days in your us first two three days when you come to us so that's an advantage to have believe me i did it it worked for me it should work for you as well number eight keep a pair of clothing in your carry-on uh i actually had one shot two t-shirts and two pairs of undergarments in my carry-on the reason being even if your check-in luggage is delayed or even if your check-in luggage is lost and they have to recover it it's gonna take one or two days time and you should have one or two pairs of clothes so that you can survive for the first two days of course you can go and buy and airport is gonna reimburse you for that in form of amazon cards or direct money but it's not worth to buy new clothes when you have some already so always keep one or two one or two pairs of basic clothes that you can survive on don't keep jeans as formal clothes and all that just keep basic jogger two t-shirts and one two one two two undergarments and that should do good and point number nine uh this might sound a little silly but keep some food in your carry-on bag by food i don't mean any oily stuff put something like sneakers bar or protein bar or some biscuits hag uh, some hide and seek biscuits uh, I mean at least I did not keep it because I knew that Air India would give me snacks and when I reached Delhi and when my flight started from Delhi to New York they gave us a snacks that I was not able to come that I was not able to complete in the flight I actually carried it with me even in the US and I was eating it so but just in case just carry it in your bag just carry two sneaker bars two protein bars that's not going to take a lot of space and also carry a jacket with you because uh, airlines generally in aeroplanes the temperature is lowered when when you are sleeping the reason being lower temperatures make your body spend less energy and it basically induces sleep and you can sleep for more time and that is desirable when you're traveling in air by for a long time so it's it's always suggestible to carry a jacket because if the temperature is cold you don't want to shiver in the temperature so carry a jacket it's not gonna hurt you and tip number 10 do not carry all your money sources in one in your in your one baggage for instance if you have a credit card if you have a forex card and if you have cash don't carry all of all three of them in one wallet put put your put some cash and put uh, your forex card with you put the rest of the cash in another bag put the uh, your credit card in another bag so that even if you lost your wallet you still have the cash and the other credit card which you can use initially and so point number 11 i've already mentioned this uh, it's always better to have your emergency contacts written on a paper but I don't know where you're going to keep a piece of paper. So always carry a pocket notebook, something like this. I always have two of them. I mean, one of them is full, I believe. This was the one which I carried from India. Look at it. I think ink, the ink also got like spread and it's like waste now. I have to throw it. And like, this is the one in which I write my ideas, whatever ideas I get, YouTube ideas, my design ideas, whatever I get. I just put, put it down on my paper, on the paper. And this is the one on which I keep track of everything. Uh, sometimes my expenses sometimes my uh, emergency contact sometimes some important points which i should remember or which anyone tells to me so always carry a pocket notebook in which you have essential information to survive even if you lose your phone or your laptop so it's always better to have this well do not overeat i know we all love food i love food i love biryani i love paneer and I love tofu, I love everything, but don't overeat because you're in a flight and it's it's not desirable to have your stomach upset in your in the flight. So eat eat little but drink lots of water. 
uh, don't think that you'll be disturbing the uh, beside passengers that every time you have to go to washroom because keeping hydrated yourself is also important when you're traveling because it, it basically avoids you getting headache or uh, the feeling of uh, you vomiting or something like that so drink some water try to sleep off in the flight as much as you can and tip number 13 this is my favorite download movies series bring a book whatever it is so just for the sake of entertainment it's gonna be like 17 16 hours of flight and if you're unfortunate you may have also have a layover of like five six hours so it's always desirable to have a uh, entertaining resource uh, personally i had like three four movies downloaded and but i watch one movie two times i'm i'm uh, my favorite movie is yejavani hadiwani I, I watched that movie two times in my uh, flight from india to new york so so download movies bring some books if you have a habit of reading book that's gonna help that's gonna help you keep yourself entertained and point number 14 ask questions if you don't know anything especially when you're filling out the customs form if you're not aware of anything just don't tick whatever you, you, it comes to your mind ask the air hostess or ask the passenger beside you they might help you it's 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 nothing wrong to ask something which you don't know i mean this tip is not only restricted to this travel tip travel tips or travel video but when you're coming to us develop a skill of asking there is actually a podcast of ali abdal with noah coogan uh, noah coogan is one of the initial employees of facebook and one of the initial employees of mint and now he has actually started a company i don't remember the company name it's been a while i saw that podcast so i mean where he talks about uh the uh, power of asking something if you develop the skill of asking you're gonna get through things very easily believe me you're gonna thank me for this tip learn to ask learn to communicate learn to ask things and it's it's not a tip at the end but it's, it's something like a little motivation enjoy your journey you're not gonna do this again you might travel from india to us again but I believe for most of you this is the first time so you're gonna remember this first time international travel it's it's gonna be it's gonna be superb you're gonna remember it for a while believe me at least I, I at least I see it like Ye Jawani Hai Diwani movie where I feel like America Anna me, Mujhe Mere Sapno Ke Kareeb Leke Jaega so it's it's always a good feeling when you're traveling first time internationally so enjoy it uh, there might be few instances where you are uh, frustrated a little considering the layover considering the irritation you get in flight but overall it will be it will be a good experience so i'm actually looking forward to meet most of you most of my subscribers are coming to clemson so i'm looking forward to meet you and if you're not coming to clemson don't worry i'm gonna travel whole us maybe in next few years so i'm gonna meet every one of you if you remember me and if you want me to meet so that's it guys i really hope this video helps and i i actually used to like watching like videos of these type when i was traveling to us like my flight was on july 29th and whole july i was watching videos like these to gather information to see india to us vlogs and all etc i know i know your excitement i know you're curious uh, i understand it and and it's it's good to have that so that's it guys uh, i try to keep the video short but if it's not don't curse me and uh, oh yeah i actually put my clothes in washing machine i have to remove it and put it in my drive so i'll see you